morning. Good morning. Make sure the bot announces again. Because it didn't last time I played this game. I'm sure it'll figure it out. Uh, it's not announcing it again. Okay, there's something wrong with this game in particular. Oh, well. Uh, it's fine. I'm too lazy to manually announce this game. Honestly. So. Uh, I kind of woke up a little late. I'm very tired. I'm also very nervous because my girlfriend is fi is uh, flying in. She's going to be here for like a month and a half. Hey, Cernop, how's it going? So it's just like... I don't know if I'm going to do crap in this game today. Okay. Oh yeah, so this is kind of my time waster until her plane lands. And it's actually probably gonna arrive an hour early, according to the flight tracker. So... That's all good, but this is going to be even shorter than I thought as a stream. So I can't promise anybody anything. Hey, kiddings. How's it going? I probably could have avoided that real easy. I just chose not to. Is it Angry Bunny Hours? It might be soon. Uh, it's gonna be super short today. Yeah. Cause, I mean, it might, I might be able to pull two hours, because I ordered flowers for her that I gotta pick up at noon. Which is... in three hours, but... I wanna get there early, make sure the flowers are okay, yada yada. And then, also, I wanna get to the airport very early, because parking there is hell in a handbasket. And I just simply do not trust the parking situation. You mean it will be soon? Yeah. gonna probably actually sit in the in the parking lot playing Octopath Traveler on my Switch. So yeah, as of right now, I'm amazed how early her flight is going to land. Because I was expecting to have a full stream today. 
but no such luck. I mean, it's a good re it's a good thing that she's landing her own. Cause then I get to bring her home sooner and uh, avoid the school traffic. Sorry if I sound like a broken record on this. It's just all that's on my mind right now, and it's kind of distracting. If I'm not doing, yeah, priorities and all that, yeah. Honestly, if I'm not doing too good in this, I'll cut it early and I have a different game lined up that might be more entertaining than watching me consistently fail. So we'll, we'll just... What game is that, I wonder? It's, uh, it's called Heart of Crown. And, uh, it's actually a fun card game. It's, uh, a deck building game. Yeah, I think is actually what it's called. But it's a lot of fun. I enjoy just playing with the AI. I'm not skilled enough to go online, I feel, but... Ah. Ah, this is gonna go poorly. This is also gonna go very poorly here. Okay. No, let's give it another couple good shots. And... Okay. I'll go to like 550 and see how we feel from there. I mean, practice is practice. Also, I feel like... Wait a minute. Don't I usually need to have six deaths per run? I think we usually have six deaths per run. Five plus one extra. Yeah, that's what I figured. It felt weird having a round number. Oh, 
Oh man, I narrowly avoided that giant red bullet. I don't know if anyone caught that one, but that was a close call. I didn't avoid that one at all. I actually just stood still for that one. That could have gone a lot worse than it did. Oh, that was a sneaky one right there. Okay, well, we're going to meet go with no lives. Watch me just get hit immediately now. went a weird way that time. I usually go to the left, I went to the right instead. I don't know why I did that, but it threw me way off. Ooh, this is 
gonna hurt or not. That worked out. That worked out too. here actually feels like the worst thing. So this is honestly like one of the most predictable patterns in the level. Everything just aims right at you with a circle every now and again. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's definitely the most predictable. Sneeze type? Or maybe not actually. I might be going away. <laughs> I can feel it! It's tickling in my nose. How did that work, Scott? I'm making a lot of mistakes here. Also, it didn't count. Well. There we go.
No. Or did I... Wait, I thought I came into this with no life left. Did I count an extra, or did I just gain the, uh... I either gained an extra life, or I counted an extra one. Oh well. That counter might be off by one. <laughs> it's probably off by a lot, honestly. With how much it hasn't worked, I probably haven't noticed a couple times. heading. You haven't missed much. I'll give you that. <laughs> Again, that feels the worst. Dying on this phase. Dying twice on this phase is inexcusable. castle with one extra life? That's not gonna go well. I was kind of hoping to not hyper there, but I can't.
Alright. We have one hyper to bring us through the final castle. Using it now. There we go. Hey. Okay. That could have done worse. That's going to be the theme of today. Could have gone worse. How am I surviving? Okay. Am I surviving because I believe? I'm surviving because I'm stressed out right now, man. <laughs> okay. Tonight is Christmas. Oh, there was a quick lag spike there. I don't know if that got picked up on stream. Nope, this is not the one. <laughs> also, I just realized my follower goal is not up to date. So I'm going to change that real quick. There was a quick lag spike and I recovered from it. And then it was afterwards that I got hit. So I can't even blame lag on that one. There we go. Next one, then. All right, next one. Uh, worst case scenario, we get this on Monday, I think. Because I still got, like, some jitters, so... <laughs> I almost ran into this yellow bullets again. Thank you. 
Oh yeah, Cernope, I just randomly remembered this. But, uh, do you still need to finish your character for, uh, Scully's D&D thing? Yeah, that's right. Don't ask me why I remembered that. I just did. Just checking in on that. <laughs> I think we'll have a session Sunday, but I always like having the backup. I have no reason to believe that we won't have one, but that's just me being paranoid today. Oh, please, thank you. Oh no, I'll I'll be here for D and D on Sunday for sure. Yeah, I'm not taking a month and a half off of Sunday session, but a little too long. It might take me longer to prep stuff, and I might be canceling my own D of my own DMA. But that's about it. And that's definitely a maybe, and that's a hit I did not think I was gonna take. Hey, look at look look at our lives. Look at how many lives we have. Oh man, this is great. This is gonna be great. I'm not gonna mess this up. No way, no how. No, nope, there's no chance I mess this up. I'm not gonna disappoint everybody, including myself. No, that's not gonna happen. I'm disappointing myself at the very least right now. <laughs> I should be action break. 
face is the place. all the knives on that last one. I'll take that. I like how I get hit on phase one and then perfect phase three. Like... <laughs> Okay, with the power of Christmas. Oh, I just realized, did I lose the hyper I was saving? For this part? Almost got hit there. That would have been bad. What's up? Get shit on, Nico. Get shit on. Alright. Yes, I would love to save that replay. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> okay. 529 deaths. Probably not- oh, hang on. Oh, how come? Oh, today's Christmas as well as your birthday. Aw, oh, one from Santa. Oh. Oh, okay, no, Nico's still alive. You killed the child. Aw. His fault. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's fair. Oh, my. Time for murder. Just count on Santa. See, rain's okay. Oh 
Oh my. That's a little ominous out of context. Children of the world, we're coming for you. <laughs> uh, that was a wholesome ending, though. Alright. I don't have to play this game anymore. That's really cool. <laughs> Alright. So... <laughs> Bad kids get punished. Okay, that's fair. Um, let me... Uh, I'll let credits roll. Can I, oh, or I can skip it. That's fine, too. Okay. So, un momento. Let me, uh... Open up my Twitch page and change a few things around. Uh, let, let, I mean, we can do Heart of Crown now because we finished uh, Christmas. So let me just close that. Oh, all right. Oh, is it gonna play? There it goes, okay. So we're switching gears. Let me update the uh, stream title. The Revengeance of Bun. Heart of Crown PC. Update. This sort of game, eh? <laughs> it's... N I mean... Maybe a little bit. No, it's not. <laughs> okay, and check on my girlfriend's flight. She is still arriving an hour early. Okay. Wait, I was kidding. <laughs> no, it, it's not. There, there is a little bit of suggestive themes, but there's nothing, nothing bad. I don't think so anyway. Oh, I should also, what I can do, is while I'm thinking about it, there's chat box at source. Uh, we can put the chat box over here. Yeah, so this game actually has a Discord, and it's really cool. Um, I haven't really delved too deep into the strategy of this game, so we're just going to... Uh... I mean, I have a basic understanding of what's going on. So... It's, it's a deck-building card game. So we're going to be... We're going to start with, I think, 10 cards in our deck. And every time we buy a card, it gets put in our discard pile. And when we run out of cards in our deck, we shuffle our discard pile, and that's our new deck. So we're constantly adding cards, and we're constantly removing cards. And uh, the whole idea is that we want to become the next queen. We are a princess, and queen is the goal. So, we have our kingdom, which starts out as just farming villages, and we have this apprentice maid that does nothing for us at all. In fact, she hinders us. So we want to get rid of her as soon as we can, as well as upgrade our farming villages to cities. So we started the game with four farming villages in our hand. You sold me at You're the Princess. I am the prettiest princess right now. Okay, we can't let these other princesses win. So we started with four farming villages, so we have four coins, so we can spend up to four. And you can see there's an imperial crown here, which would really help us out, uh, but that costs 13, sadly. So we'll have to save up for that. Uh, well, the money disappears between every round, so you have to get 13 money in one hand, which in five cards, that's impressive. 
Um, but we can take this card, City Development, and that'll help our cities develop. So now all the AI is going to go. Um, now it's our turn again. So we have zero cards in our deck and six in the discard. Three farming villages. We can get a trading ship. Um, we, we could get a horse. Horses are nice. Or a government contractor. Like, there's a lot of things we can do. We can even get a worthwhile maid. <laughs> um, I think we're just going to go with a... I think a post horse, actually. Because, um... You, you notice how everything kind of gets placed on a line? And there are these gold arrows off to the side of the cards. Um, Post Horse will let us start another row because it has two arrows. So we could do more shenanigans. So, yeah. This game has been your Steam recommended for like forever. Might get it at some point. I, I find it's fun to waste time playing this game. Again, I don't play online. I don't know how the community is. I can't speak to that. But, uh... Okay, now let's get a trading ship. Because a trading ship doesn't have any arrows, so it has to be the last card you play. Or unless you have a post horse to start the second row. But, uh, yeah, this game... I've spent... How long have I spent playing this game? Oh, 12 hours. That's not as much as I thought. But... Still, I have a good time. Every time I boot this game up, I have a good time. Okay. So. Oh, choose a territory. Oh, that just screwed my whole plan for next turn, actually. So, someone attacked us with some soldiers, and we lost it. We had discarded territory for that. Um. So. And we drew a worthless card. But we can use this trading ship to draw two cards because we have another row to play. Okay. I mean, we, this is why we want to get rid of her because she does nothing for us. She just makes it so we have a harder time of becoming queen. Okay. So, so our first princess has been backed. Um, the AI backed Scholar Princess uh, Bergamont, Bergamonte, something like that. And so you see that, but she's doing her best. She is doing her best. She's actually pretty cute. But whatever. She's also the one that teaches you the tutorial, and she tries to convince you not to get rid of her, uh, which is I I appreciate that. But, uh, you see CPU 3 here has a minus 2. Um, as soon as that becomes 20, she wins. And she can increase that number by doing Royal Maids, which is this 2, Senators 3, or Duke 6, or like this crown, which is 14. <laughs> so, um, so we're already falling behind now. Um... So we're going to grab another city development and hope we can really snowball forward. We have five farms, though. So our hand is kind of straightforward, at least. Um, in order to back a princess, we need six coins. Uh, so we're short one. We could buy an early senator just to take it away from other people. Um... We could get some infantry to uh, screw with our opponents. We could get some scouts. Again, to screw with our opponents. Um, actually, I think an infantry is the way to go right now. Because infantry also gives us two coins. Which is really helpful. Okay, someone attacked us. See, yeah, it's a card game, basically. This is all you do. It's just this back and forth. Okay, come on. Give me something. That's something, I guess. Um, I can't even develop land because I don't have any land in my hand. So... Yeah. Let's get 
two coins. We're gonna get another infantry battalion. We're, we're building our military. Okay, and again, so we're running into an issue now with the cards I've bought. That they don't have those arrows. Um, or I just don't have enough cities or similar. So we're kind of in trouble. I'd rather attack everybody and kind of waste the turn. Let's get another post horse. Hopefully we can avoid that in the future. And a scout. I mean, looks better than Shadowverse. Shadowverse... Oh, gosh. I used to play a lot of Shadowverse. And then I missed an update or something, and I couldn't keep up anymore. Um, Shadowverse is beautiful, though. Like, the, the card art and similar. Strictly speaking on that, I... Yeah, Shadowverse is great. But, yeah, I, I don't like the gameplay anymore in that... Okay, more infantry. Um, alright. So, we can use this city. Upgrade one of our farming villages. Now we have four. Um... We could just do two scouts. Okay. Uh... Scouts would let us feasibly discard our apprentice maids if we get lucky. Uh oh, the capital's on the board. And. No, I'm actually gonna get a battering ram because that just says draw one card. So it'll be a space filler. Sort of sorts. But our deck is actually pretty big right now. We have 22 cards in the deck. Alright, someone attacked us, but again, we didn't have any land, so they couldn't do anything about it. Um, ooh, okay. We can plus two coins, and we can upgrade our city to a large city. And now we're short one again. Um, we could, yeah, let's grab Saturday. Yeah, I mainly for Shadowverse, I use its artwork for D&D &D stuff. That's pretty much all I use it for anymore. I still log in every day to get the daily. But that's just like a login that immediately quit. I don't know why I still do it, but I do. Um, okay. I can nerf battering ram on that. <laughs> yeah, really. Well. This is a whole nother nothing happening. Maybe I should buy more land. I'd probably be smart. Ah, oh, we got our second back princess. Uh, let's see. Let, let, let me look. First princess Lulu Naskia. That's a name. <laughs> um, so we can do that. We can attack everybody. And then we can upgrade our city into a large city. Do that. I don't need that right now. I don't want to give anyone a duke, but we can leave that made there. Let's draw two cards on the off chance we nail it. Okay, we can back a princess now. So, we have Lao Lily, who lets us just grab a bunch of maids. Clam Clam, who reduces price of things. Uh, Bergman's already taken. Maria just gives us two cards free of charge. Um, the twins might be good because they let us take extra turns. Uh, there's this lady. I forget what she does. She's something. And then there's Wolf Princess. It's all based on curses. I'm cursing her enemies. I think the best bet right now is we're going to be the twins. Okay, so everyone has back to princess now. So we are in the game. Now it's a race to 20. Um, so we have three extra turns. I'm just gonna take one now. Um, 
Okay, six. So let's grab a senator, probably. Now let's grab two royal mates. That actually gives us more points. So it's our turn again. Um, we do have a senator here. Um, we can also upgrade. Oh, we can upgrade the farming village. Oh, that's that's concerning. Um, let's draw two just in case. Nope. All right. Okay. So we have one point sixes to beat right now. Oh my gosh, we have all three of our princesses here. Leave that, discard, leave that, uh, leave that. Well, that, that sucked as a turn. Um, I can put this, <laughs> you cannot tell what's happening. Yeah, it's just sh a lot of shenanigans. The game changes completely as soon as you back a princess. Um, so now we're less competing for money. And we're competing for uh, uh, succession points, which are the the crown symbol on these cards. What does the side deck do? Uh, oh, this side. Um, so this is our territory. Um, we can save cards in our territory that we want to use later da on down the road. Um, so I just saved a city development for later because I wasn't going to use it that turn and uh, it might come up later So Okay, well, there's another one that's not gonna help me um, Let's draw more cards And we're just doing this for money at this point so now we have eight money, we can buy a duke, which is going to give us six succession points later when we draw it. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, so that person just shot up to, uh, from like four to 18. So if they play one more card, they win. Um, yeah, that was kind of insane. Sadly, we can only play one card this turn, so I'm just gonna hope that. Um. Uh, no, let's put the soldiers here. Just in case, put our maids. So we're up to five. They, they're gonna win. Okay. So everyone plays their last turn, and if anyone else gets to twenty, they enter sudden death. But that's not gonna happen. So. Yeah, we're, we're just done, so here. So that's the end of the game. <laughs> yeah, the maids are insane. Um, so player two won. So, so there was a lot to take in. It took me like three solid games of losing before I was like, oh, that's what I do. <laughs> Oh, Rumbi's awake. So yeah, that's Heart of Crown. Um, let's just do another round. We made a couple mistakes. I think we put too much in stock and city development. So we're gonna invest in horses instead. And just straight up buy cities now. It's five. All right, let's see. Ooh, actually, we might be able to back a princess next turn. Or this turn. Depending on what I draw with post horse. We're backing a princess. 
So, the only princess that's worth backing this early on is Clam Clam. Um, oh, actually, her and Flameria. But, uh, Clam Clam reduces the cost of everything by one, which is definitely gonna be helpful. Also, each princess has a different theme song, which I think is really cool. Uh, actually, so this card lets us discard as many cards as we want and then draw the same number. I think we're just gonna discard this whole hand, honestly. Alright, well that ended up being a little better. So everything is way cheaper now. Um... I mean, we can start on getting our maids, and why not a scout? Yeah, we're bum-rushing this game, it seems. Okay, four. We can get a senator. Um, we can also get an alchemist, which lets us draw two cards. Um... Yeah, we're actually, we're really far ahead. Let's let's get an alchemist because I'm not too worried about someone else hopping on board the princess train right at this moment. Okay. Uh, and now we can, yeah, we can grab another maid and another scout. Why not? Okay. Well, there's another backed princess. There's another back princess. So that's, uh... Bergmon and the twins again. Okay. I'd like to discard that, but my opponents can keep it. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Leave it. Leave it. Discard it. Grab an armade. So the twins, oh, sorry for this card. Um, the twins let you take an extra turn, but they can only take extra turns if someone else has already backed a princess. So since there were two princesses before, they get three extra turns. Um, that they can just use whenever. The AI is going to use them all right in a row. But, uh... Oh, we're actually about to run out of maids. Um... Let's buy another maid before they disappear. Um, I forget what Bergamont does, uh... Oh, she can discard a card to get a card from her, uh, discard deck. And, uh, this poor CPU down here is still yet to back a princess. Um, hmm. Well, we have three. We can buy it. That's by the last maid. Oh, okay. See you, Kettings. Have a good one. Thanks for coming along. Oh, we can leave that there. And we'll buy a Senator. So I know I'm not doing a real good job at explaining this game. Um, I mean, I'm still learning about it, too. Uh, there's a lot more cards than these. And you can actually customize what cards are in the deck. Oh my gosh. You know, I could... Theoretically drop to zero points right now and get rid of all these apprentice maids. That might be the, the smart move. Yeah, let's do it. There we go.
Okay, we got five. I might want to grab a large city, actually. I can do that or I can grab a senator, but right now we're tied for first at zero. Um, and also dukes are cheaper for us, so investing in money is, or in money gaining, probably the way to go. Because we have a significant advantage there. Okay, so took the lead with five. Um, that's quite bad. Uh, we don't have enough for our senator, so we'll just invest in him. Also, what it, uh, she's checking What is the hearth curse? Or the heart? Oh, so curse cards? Are literally just space filling. They do nothing for you. They do nothing to harm you. They just take up space in your deck. So there are some cards that say all opponents draw a curse. Um, and they draw this card. Um, I'm actually gonna just discard this hand because it's garbage. Okay. Um. How many. Oh, we don't have a lot of cards in our deck. Let's get another city. Oh, the twins are at 10 points. I'm just realizing. So even more worthless than the apprentice made. Yeah, pretty much. Because you can't get rid of them. Um, the apprentice maids you can get rid of by just taking two point loss. But the curses you can't do that for. So there are, there will be times, and this has happened to me, where I've drawn four curses in a hand, and I've been able to do nothing in a turn. <laughs> I'll leave that. I'll leave that. Discard, discard. Okay, we have eight. That's not enough to get the Imperial Capital, but we can get a Duke. Um, we can get our senator. Oh, 12 is the number to beat now. Um, hmm. It was actually a little rough. Let's grab that senator. And we can grab a city. More money's always nice. I probably should have actually grabbed a trading ship instead. Okay. Last one has been backed. It's uh, the maid one, but there were no maids for her to grab. So I don't know why she did that, because that's literally the worst choice. <laughs> discard, discard, discard. Um, we can't do much of anything else, so we're just gonna invest. Um, this is actually a little scary, because now we're falling behind. Ooh, now 16 to beat. As much as I want to buy the last senator, putting the duke in now would put me tied for for second. Oh, okay. So this is our last turn now. Um, I f I don't remember how many uh, succession cards we have in the deck. I think we might have lost. Let, let's draw a card and see what happens. Yeah, I think we lost. Unless that last card in our deck is a... Uh, is a senator, we lost this. So, And it wasn't. Okay. Yeah. All right, the twins win. Yeah, this game goes all over the place. All right. 
So let me do one more round and then I'm gonna say um, I'll head off and just get ready for, for the airport drive. So we're gonna do some, some random, we're, we're gonna do a random deck. So there's a lot of different cards now. Okay, so these six always remain the same. It's these ones over here that change. All right, well, Trading Ship is back. Wishing Well's back. So is Post Horse. We got a Gossipy Duchess that is actually worth succession points. Um, and actually hinders other people's uh, succession. Uh, we got a Confederation, which is very complicated, and I'm never going to buy it. Uh, a government contractor, I think that's in the beginner pack as well. Um, that just lets us put stuff on the bottom of the deck instead of discarding it. It's not gonna change much anything. Um, and Tally, which will let us get rid of Apprentice Maids. So we kind of want to get some Tallies. <laughs> but horses first. Um, city. That's fine. Um, let's get a tally. So, tally will let us banish an apprentice maid plus one other card, which completely removes it from the game. Um, the issue is, is that we're getting rid of three cards that we kind of want to keep, probably. So those will probably be farming villages? It's just there to thin the deck a little bit more. Um, bringing back a princess. Let's back Clam Clam. And we had the six we had the six uh, six money to do it, so might as well. Um, we have five. We ain't, let's get a Gossipy Duchess. Why not? Take that off the, the board before someone else picks it up. Alright, and we have levies. That makes things more expensive for other players. Um, I mean, which would be really funny for me to buy. I've never actually used it. Um, we also have Curse Witch now. That, uh, forces people to take curses into their deck. Um, oh crap. I actually, I can't use the tally because I don't have a, a card with a different name now. So we'll just draw two. And... Oh, uh, we can... She kind of want to hold off on the Duchess for right now. Only because she uh, she hinders enemies once they start getting their own princesses up and running. So we'll just get a maid. That puts us up to five. We can get a large city. Or another goss. Let's get another gossipy duchess. Let's just keep taking them away. And, uh, yeah, just keep taking them away. Uh, let's do that. Can I put you here? Oh, no, okay, I invested. Uh, Gossipy Duchess by mistake. Oh, well. Oh, I think that actually did hinder Bergamot a bit. Okay, now we got the twins again. Banish two cards. So banish the princess and that farming village. We will never see them again. Um, let's go for city. Twins are taking an extra turn.
Um, two. Let's just grab another maid. Oh, we might be able to actually get draw an apprentice maid and then get rid of it with the tally. We didn't. That's fine. Uh, let's draw two. Now we get it. Of course, now we get it. Now we get two. Of course, now we get two. <laughs> Buy a senator and call it. Um, we could look toward getting that imperial crown. Um, there's also another duchess that I want to take away from the enemies. Which I can't do. Um, let's buy another senator. Oh, yeah, someone used the gossipy duchess on me. Now I'm at minus one. Alright. So we're still in the lead at five. Okay, we can tally away the uh, A apprentice made now, which is good. Good progress there. Now we only have one left in the deck. Uh, we could buy another senator. Yeah, let's buy another senator. Oh, I should have actually bought two royal maids. That would have been smarter. Five. Yeah, let's buy them out. Let's just see what we draw. Alright, that's fine. Okay, we're up to 13. Hopefully we'll win one. Okay, no, we're tied for first. Now we're gonna take the lead again at 19. Okay, we just need one more succession point. Oh, they need three more. Oh, that's a little scary, actually. Okay. Um... We can get rid of our last apprentice maid and buy a senator on the off chance we drew him. All right, so that's win for us, assuming no one else hits 20 points. If we enter sudden death, there's going to be a problem. Wow, we actually ran out of cards to draw. Okay, coronation. Oh, poor person. Oh, they're one off. All right, we got it. Awesome. We won. We are the queen. We are the prettiest princess and now the prettiest queen. Okay. GG, well played. All right, so... I mean, that was a cool finale for, uh, for Christmas shooting. I'm glad I got it done. That means I have to now learn a new game for Monday. Or on Monday, I should say. Um, but for now, I'm going to do some last minute things before I drive to the airport. So, thank you all for watching. Thanks for coming along. Um, we'll do orange juice tomorrow, probably co-op mode. Not 100% sure still, but we'll figure it out. And as always, remember to drink your milk.